guys, Jeff Howard here at kiteboarding.com. And it's always fun to get all the new stuff in. And once we do, I try to dig into it and make these videos. Well, this is something a lot of people have been asking about because there's very few out there, uh, but they are more coming. This is the Core Sensor 3 Pro Bar. A lot of people have probably been seeing it online out there and stuff, and they want to know, what's the difference? What have they done? Well, first off, I got to say, thank you, Core, for not trying to convince me that a twist release is the best release to use. It is not. I, that is my own opinion. Push away is it. They did it. They finally paid for the patent, which is one thing everybody must do, is the push away patent. And they did it, and they did it really well. They built a beautiful bearing spin chicken loop they call the CIC. Not sure what it stands for, kind of looked into it. Doesn't really matter, not really. But what they've done is they've done the new design a lot of people are doing, or a lot of brands, a lot of the bigger brands, is the click-in seat belt, and that is fantastic. I love how they made the very small loop. That was really cool, because most people, I tell you, way over 90% of riders never come unhooked. They stay hooked in, almost everybody out there. So make it simple, make it small, and decrease this length. I like to give more throw to the rider. So the smaller you make these, the better and make them really nice to spin. They don't jam up in sand and stuff. That's something I look at. So with this in mind, they did the push away release. It works really well. It's real clean. It is so simple just to simply click back in. It's one of the cleanest. I love that side of it. And again, the bearing in there. So all of this is made very compact, very clean. It's got the lock tube here. You can hook your safety on the top or the bottom. I like how they thought about those little tiny things in there. So the center line is hooked up, um, loaded down into through the chicken loop. Um, and you can hook your leash to either side of this instead of it being fall to one side when you're trying to get hooked up to it. But they did a great job. The tubing, the mold that it's on here is really nice. Um, you know, instead of just having a vinyl tube put onto them like some of the old stuff, it's fully molded it's really clean and this is changeable you can use a bigger one if you wanted to do the unhook so that is the chicken loop that is one of the big things that they changed for this year and i am so glad they went and paid for the patent because everybody sets a standard push away release so thank you core for doing that one of the things that they did change a big thing is the bar itself they call it a titanium core inside of here it is very lightweight that is really cool about it in comparison to others and another thing that I like is the replaceable parts in the center. If you're going to do this self-unwinding uh, plastic tube through the bar, it is an absolute must to have replaceable parts inside of the center. I don't care who it is or where they are or how clean they keep it. It's not the way it's going to happen. They get sand in here. Things wear out. You want to be able to pull those parts out, put some new ones in, and make this bar last for years. So with that, I give them a, uh, a really good... Uh, plus on that all these parts are replaceable but they've had that before but it looks really really good all of their sheeting in the center has remained the same through the bars it has the center line safety here they have their I'm not sure if it's three to one four to one I'm not sure what the number is but it's a sheeting system now the difference of the sheeting system is the way that their front line setup is put in when you sheet here in the center uh, there's a slider way on up, so you decrease. If you pull in five inches here, it only pulls in two and a half at the other end. But it works really well. It's really clean. It's bungeed out with that slider, and we really like that. Now, the other thing that everybody looks at is the bar. These are the stealth winders. Where are your winders? Well, they're right here. You flip them out. There's a bungee up inside of here, and that bungee allows you to clip that back in, makes it a little bit cleaner, doesn't have it down here on the end. Uh, we need to put some time on these and figure out about sand maybe. I'm not sure. Make sure to keep all this stuff clean. Like a click bar and all those things that get really intricate, you want to keep, keep this stuff clean in there. Now, it's really cool. It makes it lightweight. As you can see, the simplicity laying over your lines and winding them. Uh, the other thing they have done, they have a really nice replaceable bungee down here. This is one of the things on a lot of bars that this will break, and then you cannot replace this. You've got to be very specific and get to them. Well, you can uh, lash in another um, uh, bungee up inside of here because once you slide these floats back, this is adjustable underneath here and they have a plastic molded piece in here and the bungee just wraps around it. It's really cool, kind of laced in there. And it gives that link so it completely pulls around. But they did a great job. You got adjustments under the floats here. 
Everything is ultra light. You slide the float back down, lock it back on the piece, and this is a solid lock, which is something I really like about it. Once you get this in there, it's a good solid feel. Now, this part slides up a little bit, and you can see how that moves up and moves down. The reason is for winding is for one, and the number two is for their bar adjustment for their width adjustment. It's not very much. We did measure it out, and you're only talking the difference of like maybe 47 and a half centimeters to 50 centimeters. So is it really gonna make a big difference? No, it's not gonna make a huge difference. Most people probably won't mess with that, but you simply slide the float up, push on that top, pull it down, pivot it, pop it back in, and that was how you adjust your bar width. But again, it's only a few centimeters. We measured all the way from outside to inside when we did this, and it's not a whole lot, but the truth is not a lot of people adjust their bar out. 50 has become a good standard of 50 centimeter width. The other thing on the Pro Bar, which is really cool, are the fly lines. Um, they make some really nice, is this any kind of magic line? No, it's a really good line, I will guarantee you that. It's Spectra, Dyneema. Um, it has got a nice coating on it to prevent stretch and slack out, so when they pre-stretch these lines, it locks that fiber into place. And the Pros, they come with di um, different lengths, which is really cool. It comes with an 18, and then a 4, and then a 2. So you've got all your adjustability, whatever you want to do on those lines for whatever purpose you want to use the bar. All in all, they have done a great job on the Sensor Pro 3 bar, and it is a good feel in your hands. I like the diameter of it. Some of them can make them too small or a little bit too fat. It feels really good, real comfortable grip. We're stoked to get some time on one of these and get it out on the water. But all in all, I will say they've done a great job. Um, Core has really put some time and money into this. If everybody wonders why the price is there, I will guarantee you the cost of designing and molding chicken loops and bars like this is insane. It costs a lot of money. And when the big companies do it, they come up with some really beautiful products. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here. I just want to let you know it also comes with a leash. And for some reason, they make it look like it's got bungee. But it doesn't have bungee. But it looks cool. Works. It's a short leash. You can't talk too fancy about that. But that's Jeff Howard here with the Core Sensor 3 Pro Bar to give you a review of it. And I think this is spot on. They did a really good job. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here at Kiteboarding.com.